Hello. Um, a few things to clean up. I didn't quite explain about the, the, the cross becoming a symbol of love. So very briefly, uh, the cross is where Jesus died, a very painful death. And why did he do it? Because he loved his believers so much. Uh, and so, in a nutshell, that, that's why Christians carry around a torture device as a symbol of love. Uh, hymnody, you know, there's the word. I, I thought maybe I should say something more about that. I, I mentioned two chorales and one hymn. Well, hymnody is the study of, of the hymns uh, in may, maybe more than just Christian churches, but uh, it is a vast literature. It is a vast literature. And I think probably in most people's lives, it's where they, uh, Christians' lives, that's where they come in closest contact with poetry. Uh, you know, in public schools it's tricky uh, dealing with, uh, uh, with religion because of, in the United States, the separation of church and state. But in truth, there, there is a vast uh, literature, body of literature uh, uh, that, that could be studied for its poetry. Uh, but so I just mentioned it. The banging doors. Uh, yesterday you heard them. Well, today the wind is blowing once again. I tied the one door shut, uh, or fasten it shut, but you may hear it still. You'll have that when your classroom is a barn. Emma Thompson, I couldn't think of her name. She's the one who plays Catherine in, um, uh, uh, in uh, Henry V, uh, opposite uh, Kenneth Branagh. Uh, in case you've forgotten, they were married uh, in real life at the time that they did... Uh, uh, much Ado About Nothing. Uh, Agincourt's Dark Secrets. Battlefield Detective. Detectives, maybe. This is on YouTube. It's 48 minutes long. The whole documentary is there. I could imagine some of you might be quite interested in that. It occurred to me that I should write down Agincourt, because you might not be able to spell it otherwise. Cressy, I think, was the other major battle, I think. But I'm not a history teacher. I'd like you to watch, uh, this is going to be very brief today, I'd like you to watch the end of Renaissance Man, parts 12, 13, and 14. Now I looked, and, and on YouTube, part 14 ends before about the last five minutes, and I didn't see a, a real easy way for you to be able to see that last five minutes. Maybe you'll have to actually get, get the mood to see it, I don't know. But uh, the story is concluded, though. This is, there are some really nice touches, though. Uh, built into the movie in the last five minutes is a set of curtain calls. And uh, I, I used that in my classes to explain, make sure kids knew what curtain calls were and show them how they, they were built right into the movie. Each major character pretty much has his curtain call, complete with applause. Uh, and I'd like to point out whose voice is it that you hear right at the end, and what is he saying? Uh, it, uh, maybe I'll tell you tomorrow. I don't want to spoil it for you. Uh, I don't think I should really have to, to do any more explanation, as long as you're watching with a keen ear and a keen eye. The uh, climax of the movie, I said at one point you could pinpoint it. I think you can pinpoint it when Benitez says, Is that enough, drill sergeant? <clears throat> and... Uh, 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 Lou Cass says, yes, Benitez, good, or something like that. Right there is the climax, I feel. Uh, in what you're going to see, there are some echoes. There's a series of echoes. Uh, the one I want to point out, because I, I pause the movie and I ask the kids, now what is this literary device? And, and left, 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 right, left. Uh, you know, I just wrote left, right. It's... Uh, you know, black English, I, I told you about that. Well, watch how that echoes uh, at the end of the movie. Uh, and I also would like to point out uh, when uh, uh, Melvin says, ain't that something? Talking about Horatio. And uh, Rigo says, yeah, it is. Or, or something like that. I, I usually pause the movie and, and ask my students, why does he think that that's something? But I don't, I don't want to spoil it anymore. I've asked you to hold yourselves back, so now I say go for it. Watch it to the end. Tomorrow I'll, I'll have some more to, to say about it, but by, by that time I'll, I'll figure you've seen the whole movie. See you tomorrow.